another participant. Uh, Mr. Willis Okuth Onyango uh, is, a, is the final uh, discussant as executive chairperson of the International Youth Council of Kenya, as, as well as the civil society representative of Beyond 2015. Thank you very much. Mr. Oyango. Note, it is the fault of the master. But if the drum is made but not played, it is the fault of the boys. I want to sincerely thank the Office of the President of the General Assembly for through this space making the, bra the drum so that we can beat it. Nothing beats closing the inequality gap than non-regression. The post-2015 agenda must be universal and must be applicable to both developing as well as industrialized countries. Nothing less will be simply unacceptable. This is a truly historic chance to make sure that everybody is comfortable and feels represented in this agenda. We have to ensure that social and economic inequalities are effectively tackled in this agenda. What I mean here identifies with the principle of leaving no one behind so that in this agenda, no goal, no target should be considered achieved unless it is achieved by all and sundry. A two-pronged approach to tackling inequality is key and is going to be a key game changer in the next agenda. First is surrounding the access to basic services such as water and sanitation, such as education, such as health. And having worked with young people a lot in this process, education is key. And what I mean note is that we have to conjugate to bring together children and cram them in a classroom and teach them how to conjugate verbs. That is not the kind of education that will earn young people decent employment. Secondly, we have to address inequality between and within countries. And these will secure accountability and equal implementation of the social, ethnic, and religious groups through de data disaggregation. Many are hindered by non-participation because the process has really left them behind. This agenda has to ensure that everybody, wherever they are, can contribute, and by everybody, I mean all people. And es especially the experiences of people that live with poverty. And to consider these experiences not simply as anecdotal evidences. It has to be founded on strong hu found foundations of human rights. If I have a vision for the post-2015 agenda, then it would be an equitable and sustainable world where everyone is safe, resilient, lives well, enjoy human rights in their full spectrum. Let's be clear here. The current discussions by political leaders here in New York simply lack the level of ambition that will ensure a transformative agenda post-2015. Very many reports have identified that this agenda has to be transformative and radical to make sure that at least for once, poverty is eradicated in a generation. This is a key opportunity to raise the level of ambition with the aim of contributing to and adopting a truly transformative agenda that reflects those affected by poverty and injustice. 
the opportunity to rethink and redefine a global agenda pathway comes once in a generation. Let us not let the unborn child down. Let us give hope to the young person. Let us make the old age gracefully. And I think that we are that generation that can create a lasting change and make a future that is inclusive, that addresses pros prosperity and brings reason and sense to everybody who, who calls this home, uh, who calls this planet their home. Nelson Mandela would have said that sometimes it falls upon a generation to be great. I think we're that generation. Thank you so much.